I'm Dr. Donna Little. I'm an English professor here at Reinhardt University. And Reinhardt has a facility called the George Scarborough Room and Center for Southern and Appalachian Literature. And we've made this facility to house the papers of the late poet George Addison Scarborough. Scarborough lived from 1915 to 2008. He was an Appalachian poet from a remote area in East Tennessee. So he grew up in the hills and the mountains. He actually became quite a famous poet um, in throughout the 20th century. Um, but after he died in 2008, his work has been somewhat forgotten. So part of our purpose here at the Scarborough Room is to revive Scarborough's reputation as well as to house uh, his papers and possibly to edit some new editions of the, the poems that have not yet appeared in book form. Uh, my name is Devin Ware. I am an undergraduate student working on my English internship here in the Scarborough Room. I'm Jack Shields. I'm currently an MFA intern for Donna and right now we're working on Fi uh, filing all of Scarborough's works so that way we have an order. Um, we have been given a collection of over 600 poems he had left so we've been working through all of his loose papers to archive and collect everything in an organized way. He, we have discovered over 20 poems which were never published and over 100 which were never collected and we've also been working on editing and hopefully preparing those for a new publication or maybe even a new book. We were given the papers of George Scarborough by his literary executor, Becky Mobs. Um, she uh, knew Scarborough um, for most of his life. In fact, her mother was Scarborough's best friend growing up. And um, Becky uh, Moss was his literary executor and her cousin Margaret Rogers was his overall uh, executor of his will. And um, since the ladies were getting up in years, they decided that they needed to give George's papers to a college who would take good care of them. And because um, Becky Mobs knew our actually uh, president, now president, Dr. Mark Roberts, um, who is a scholar of Appalachian literature and who had done some research on Scarborough, uh, Becky and Margaret decided that Reinhardt University would be the perfect place to house Georgia's papers. Mm -hmm.